I googled candy corn this morning thinking I'd do a nice fun video about how candy corn is made and the science behind it, but a lot of the articles I saw actually were claiming that bugs was one of the ingredients in candy corn. And I thought that's an even better idea for a video because yes, there is an insect derived ingredient and yes, it is used in your candy corn. First off, I want to point out that there's bugs in all your food. The FDA actually sets limits for insect parts, whole insects, rodent hairs, all this type of filth. It's just part of our food supply because our food is grown outside, it's by animals, it's by pests, by rodents, it's out in nature and we can't remove everything from it. And let me point out one other thing. There's many different areas of the world where bugs are part of their food supply and an important part of protein for these people. It's really more of a Western thought that bugs are disgusting and should not be eaten. But when it comes to candy corn during Halloween season, there's really just one ingredient derived from insects and this is called shellac or confectioner's glaze. First, let's tackle where does this shellac come from? Because it does come from a bug, that's true. It's actually more specifically from this parasitic insect called Lacifor laca. And this parasite, this bug, it lives on trees and shrubs. It uses them as its home. And more importantly for us, it secretes this resin, which is called shellac. And this shellac, it's tough, it's hard, and it has sort of a glean to it. And it secretes this resin to protect its larva. I know one of your first thoughts might be, well, that sounds disgusting. But let me remind you of another secretion from an insect that I would say has a uh, halo effect or people think about it very positively. And that's beeswax, which is also the secretion of a bug, the honeybee, but we use it in food, in chapstick, in all these personal care items. So shellac is not that different. To get food grade shellac, we can't just take, you know, what the insect secreted or take the whole tree. So actually to get anything that would be used in your food, this is quite a long purifying process. But what happens is the twigs, everything is sort of collected and you have to remove any branches, you know, bark, twigs, insects, other impurities. So it goes through a long purifying process and then is washed several times until we get the ingredient that would be considered food grade shellac. I think we have a good grasp on what the shellac ingredient is now, but we still have to understand why is it used in something like candy corn. Shellac, when it comes to candies and food, it's known as a glazing agent or coating agent. And that's because it's applied to the surface of, surface of the finished product. It sort of makes this protective coating that is glossy and shiny and very appealing. But it has much more purpose than just looking good. This barrier is actually resistant to water and water could make the candy corn sticky. The barrier really helps protect the food if it is um, gets in heat somehow or is in uh, temperatures that could make the food go bad faster. So really this is seen as like a protective barrier that extends the shelf life of the candy. Now in the food supply, if shellac isn't used, there's actually several other glazing or polishing agents. After shellac, you might see zine, which is a specific protein from corn. This can also be used in some candies and in the food industry, which it also has that really glossy, shiny finish. There are also several waxes. So I already mentioned beeswax or carnauba wax. And if you think about apples in the grocery store, why those look so shiny, it's actually because a outer coating of wax has been applied. It's not the apple itself that is that glossy color or that glossy look. And candy corn isn't special when it comes to its use of shellac as an ingredient. A lot of different candies use shellac as well. We're talking everything from Whoppers to Tootsie Rolls, Raisinets, Milk Duds, uh, Junior Mints, even the uh, candy conversations hearts that are used during Valentine's Day. 
the ink from that also includes shellac. So this is a very common food ingredient. So this Halloween, please do not fall for the, ah, there's all these bugs in my candy corn. There is an ingredient called shellac that's made from an insect, but again, beeswax also comes from an insect and no one is really afraid of beeswax, so you don't have to be afraid of shellac. Happy Halloween and please eat that candy corn.